now coming to you live from our studios in Sharpsville, Indiana, Trenton Byers and Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello, and welcome to the Blast Newscast. I'm Jacob Pyle. And I'm Trenton Byers. If you haven't heard what happened in the news recently, let us be the first to tell you it was supposed to be a fun, simple night out at the movies. Everyone was watching the new Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. No one ever knew that just going to the theater was going to be in an action in, in itself. There has been a total of 70 people shot, 12 deaths, 58 wo wounded. Here with some more information about this tragic shooting is our, is our newcomer, our Blast News cast reporter, Tabitha Freyholtz. Thanks, Jacob. It took place at the Aurora, Colorado Century 16 Cinema. The day has arrived. Everyone dressed up as their favorite Batman characters and watched the midnight showing of Batman The Dark Knight Rises. But then the guy by the name of James Egan Holmes came in, allegedly brought a ticket to see the movie, walked into the theater, and left through the emergency exit door, which he propped open himself. He got dressed in a protective clothing and retrieved his wep weapons. About a half hour into the film, he returned in the theater through the emer emergency exit door with a gas mask, body armor, and a loaded bearing vest. While few in the audience considered this person a threat, when he first entered the theater, others thought he was part of a special effect installation set up for the premiere as a publicity stunt by the studio or cinema. The attack began around 12.38 a.m. Around the time of the first gun scene in the adjacent theater, they threw a canister emitting a gas or smoke, causing blindness and eye irritation to the audience. After the attack, the police interviewed more than 200 witnesses. Investigators believe that the shooter acted alone and not with a group or terrorist organization. Seventy people were shot, 12 had died, 58 had been wounded. Well, we will have all the information on the tragic shooting on the future editions. For the, for the last newscast, I'm Tabitha Freyholt. Thank you, Tabitha. One brief footnote. Theaters have taken precautions to prevent copycats from doing this again. In fact, AMC Theaters has a new rule which states now that they will no longer allow masks or fake weapons into their theaters. Interesting, huh? And now it's time for our weather report with our rain or shine weatherman, Levi Bennington. Thank you, Jacob. Hello, everybody. We've had high winds, heavy rain, and a Loud thunder hit our area this morning, waking everybody up. Trees have been falling down. There have been reported lights out within air within Indiana today, and it's been bad. But the good news is that Mother Nature is giving us the rain we needed. So my weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be partly cloudy at a whopping 96 degrees. Not as cool as we thought, but... I'll but hopefully, temperatures will cool down in weeks to come. I'm Levi Bennington, and that's today's weather. Thank you, Levi. And now it's time for questions and suggestions with our question expert himself, J.R. Clifton. Thank you, Trenton. Hello, everyone. It's Q&S time. Before we film this week's newscast, a question was drawn out of the questions and suggestions can located in the game room on the table where Reagan's letters are. And we're going to see what that is right now. May I have the slip of paper, please? Here you go, JR. Thanks, Mr. No Name. Say, did you enjoy the weenie roast last week? Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was fun to see everybody baptized. And the food was great. I'm glad you had fun, Mr. No Name. Thanks again. Our question comes to us this week from Brian Bookout. And he asks, do all of you love Jesus? Well, Brian, let's ask some of our Team Blast people that question, see what they have to say. I love Jesus. <laughs> Me too. What a coincidence. Yes, I definitely love Jesus. He's been there for me with so much. He's always been there in my time of need and prayer. He's always there, so always look up to him because you're never alone. Um, I love Jesus because he loves me just as much and even more. 
and um, <clears throat> I want to show him uh, just as much love because he did die on the cross for my sins and your sins, and he deserves just that much more. And it's just inspiring to see that he did do that for me and for us. So that's how much I love him. I love Jesus. So you see, Brian, everyone loves Jesus with the heart. Thanks for your question, Brian. If you have any questions you'd like to ask us in the game room where Reagan's letters are, there's a can which reads Blast News Cast Questions and Suggestions. Take a slip of paper, write your name and the question you've been wanting to know. You will only be allowed one entry per week, but if your name isn't drawn, we'll keep it in there until it gets drawn. And if we read your question on air, you will receive a token from Jacob, which is good for one door prize. Give this special token to Jacob, Kay, or Howard at the cafe, and you can pick from any of the prizes in the case up front or one of the Team Blast t-shirts hanging on the door. Free stuff. Don't you just love it? I'm Jared Clifton, and let's keep them questions rolling. And now, here's Team Blast's own, Jacob Pyle. <laughs> Love in your heart, and the world will be a better place. And the world will be a better place for you and me. You just wait and see. Another day goes by, still the children cry. Put a little love in your heart. We want the world to know, we won't let Adrian grow Put a little love in your heart And the world will be a better place And the world will be a better place for you and me You just wait and see, wait and see Look around, and if you're looking down, put a little love in your heart. I hope when you decide, God, this will be your God. Put a little love in your heart, and the world will be a better place, and the world will be a better place for you and me. You just wait and see, come on, put a little love in your heart, each and every day, put a little love in your heart, and on the way, put a little love in your heart, you got to, put a little love in your heart, come on now, put a little love in your heart. And every day Put a little love in your heart There's no other way Put a little love in your heart Come on now Put a little love in your heart Yeah Put a little love in your heart mm -hmm. Put a little love in your heart Everybody Put a little love in your heart Yeah Put a little love in your Knock, knock. Who's there? Ida. Ida who? I don't know. Do you know who? <laughs> I don't know. 
Looking for something to do on a Tuesday afternoon? Come up and join us for Teen Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street, Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We are open after school on Tuesdays until 9, with services from 6.30 to 8.30. Come join us, won't you? Before we um, sign off today, let's um, give a big prayer for Kendra and Desi and Kane Howard, who are uh, in Florida right now hoping they made the trip safely and hoping that they come home in one piece. You know, God's going to provide us and protect them in any way they can. Um, and that's going to be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Trenton Byers. And I'm Jacob Pyle. Until next week, good night and God bless my friends. <laughs> This is Chris Henry speaking. The Blast Newscast has been pre-recorded for future air.